everyone. So this week we are starting our Earth unit where we're going to talk about all things planet Earth and it's going to be great. So this week we are starting on water, which is really exciting. Um, did you know that the world's water is only 1% of the whole world's water is usable for us? And 2% is frozen in glaciers that we can't get to. And then the rest of it, 97% of it, is salty water that we can't actually use. That's so interesting, Daisy. I had no idea. Mm. Did you know that there's the same amount of water on Earth as there was 2 billion years ago? Wow, that's crazy. Water is super important to our everyday lives because without water, there would be no plants, no animals, and even no people. It, water is also really important because it takes, it takes water to grow or to make things. Everything needs water. There's so much water in everything, even in the milk that we drink. And, you know, it takes so much water to grow things and for animals to live and be strong and big so that we can eat them. So water is just super important to every aspect of our lives. But even though there is so much water in the world and, that, and even though water is so important to all of us and every living thing, there can also be problems with water. But Daisy, if there's so much water in the world, why is there any problems? Well, because pollution can change the weather. There may be more rain or less rain in parts of the country, and that causes problems with, you know, with things that are growing and the humans getting the water. And it, there can be a lot of problems with uh, that, that pollution causes with our water supply. And also, sometimes there isn't enough rain. So some people are not careful and they waste clean water and that causes a lot of problems with who gets clean water and how much there is. Those are both really good points, Daisy. Mm -hmm. Other points why getting water can be a problem is because of climate change and climate change is causing the ice on mountains to disappear. Mm -hmm. And so rivers as a result are drying up. So this can make it really hard for some people to access water. Another reason why water can be a problem is that many people have no money to dig wells or pay for city water pipes, so they also have trouble getting clean water. There are a lot of problems and that's really hard to like realize, but there are things we can do about it and we're going to talk about them. All right, now we are going to read a really fun story um, that talks about the importance of water and how water changed one girl's life. There was such excitement in Ananas village in India. Everyone was talking about the new well. For Anana, the new well means that she is able to go to school all day instead of walking two kilometers for water in another village. For Anana's mother, it means that she can spend more time at home with the children, and that means more time to sew clothes that she can sell in the market. Life has been hard for Anana's family and their neighbors. First, the stream at the edge of their village dried up because a large factory was taking up so much water. Anina and her mother and sister had to walk hours each day to fetch clean water. Anina's father sold their cattle when the stream disappeared because he could not get water for the cows. Now he works in the city and only comes home once a month. Anina learned about clean water at school. A local health worker visited to teach everyone about clean water and being healthy. Anana's mother and some of the other women who worked hard to raise the money to dig a well, they worked together with the village council to make sure that the well was looked after and that water is never wasted. Anina helped her neighbors carry stones and shovel earth to build a small water tank to collect rainwater. They hope that it will give them enough water for cattle and gardens. So then Anina's dad will come home to stay. Anina's mom is also looking forward to the day when she can water a large garden with lots of vegetables to sell. With everyone working together, perhaps better days are ahead. 
Okay, so now we are going to do a coloring sheet and we're just going to talk about uh, water and the greatness of water and yeah. So Daisy, what do you love about water? Hmm, I love how refreshing it can be in the summer and how calming it can be and how cooling and just how great it can be really in all kinds of moods and weather. Like when it's hot, it can cool you down or when you're freezing in the winter, it can warm you up. It really just makes you feel better in any mood that you are in. That is so true, Daisy. That's also one of my favorite things mm -hmm. about water. Ariane, what's your favorite place to go with water? Hmm, that's a tough one because there are so many cool places to go that has water. But I think my favorite would have to be the beach. Hmm, I also love the beach. Yeah, I love going to the beach and seeing the waves and swimming. I think that's my favorite. Being in the water can be so much fun. It is. Daisy, what wouldn't be possible on Earth without water? Hmm. So much couldn't be possible. I mean, you know, we, we couldn't even be here if it weren't for water. But also, you know, we couldn't, I don't think we could enjoy ourselves as much. You know, we couldn't have fun in the summer. We couldn't have pools. We couldn't, we couldn't do a lot of things. And, you know, I just don't think that the summer would be nearly as fun if there wasn't water. That's so true, Daisy. I think sometimes we take water for granted because it's Definitely. always around us. Yeah. But it's so important to everything on earth. Yeah. Water makes up everything. It's, you know, it's in our bodies. It's in our food. We need it to survive and it's so important and we really need to appreciate it more, I think. I think so too. We need to take better care of it and mm -hmm. make sure that everyone has access to clean water. Yes. And that we do our part to keep water clean too. Definitely. What are some ways do you think that we can do to help keep our water clean? Hmm. I think that we could definitely start with lowering our pollution and how bad we are with um, our, you know, putting uh, bad things into the air and that definitely affects the water. And we could definitely be more green and make more environmentally conscious choices like, you know, walking instead of driving a car or, um, you know, doing a bunch of stuff that just helps with pollution. And that'll definitely help our water, even though it seems like it'll be helping more of the air, it'll really help with the water. That is such good points, Daisy. Another thing we could do to help protect our water is to make sure we're not wasting any water. Yeah. So that could mean when you're brushing your teeth to make sure you don't leave the tap running or when you're doing dishes to not leave the tap running all the time. Make sure. sure we're not always taking really long showers and yeah. we're just conscious of all the water that we're using. Definitely. Hey, Ariane, do you want to hear a joke? I would love to hear a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Water. Water who? What are you doing in my house? <laughs> I also have a joke. Do you want to hear it, Daisy? I would love to. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wet. Wet who? Wet me in. It's waning out here. <laughs> That's a good one. Thanks, Daisy. <laughs> How's the coloring going? Oh, pretty good. I chose the um, 
more intricate coloring page, but there is a less intricate page uh, for those that don't want to have as hard a coloring thing. So either one is great to do. Which one did you cho uh, choose, Ariane? I chose the simpler coloring page. Mm, yes. What's a really fun place you visited that had water, Daisy? Can you think hmm. of one? I can remember that last summer I went with one of my best friends to her lake and we had just a great time relaxing on a, like a, a floaty on the on the lake and we went swimming and we just had so much fun just in the water and in the sun. It was a great time. That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Do you have any really good memories with the water, Ariane? Hmm. Oh, I have lots of really great memories. A couple years ago, I went to Asia with my family. Ooh. And we went swimming in the beaches. And it was so much fun to play in the water and go on boats. We traveled on boats to go to different places. Wow. So it was a lot of fun. That sounds amazing. While you color, you know, you can just think about all the things that you could do to help um, with water and save water and um, be better with water on our planet. Or you could think about what things you love about water or things you like to do with water. That's a great idea, Daisy. You guys at home can do a little bit of research if you want. Yeah. And you can Google some really cool places that have water that maybe one day you'd like to visit. And you can Google and search up all the fun things that you can do with water. And maybe you can do some at home. That sounds great. Now, Daisy and I are going to end this episode with a prayer for the world. Sparkling clean water, swaying trees, amazing creatures. These are all gifts to us. The beautiful world has enough of everything for everyone. Sometimes we forget this because we can be selfish and uncaring. Let's spread the message that we can live without hurting the forest the animals, the water, and each other. We can care for this beautiful world. We just need courage. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Au revoir. Au revoir.